everyone. I'm glad to be here and have this opportunity to share my study with you. Today, I will focus on the effects of antibiotics growth promoter and the dietary qualities on growth performance, nutrient digestibility, intestinal morphology, meat quality, and intestinal gene expression in broiler chickens. The antibiotic growth promoter have been used in poultry production for eight decades to increase productivity and efficiency. The antibiotic growth promoter, the AGP, have been shown to enhance the growth rate and the feed efficiency of broilers. Additionally, AGP are also used for the protection of the infections caused by common poultry pathogens. Despite the substantial contribution to the poultry industry, AGP are under surveillance due to an increase in the incidence of antimicrobial resistance. Based on a growing concern of the antimicrobial resistance, many countries have banned the AGP and restricted the use of preventative antibiotics. However, the ban of AGP has been at the cost of the productivity animal welfare. In addition, with increasing global consumption of the, the poetry, it has been become essential to develop the effectiveness uh, alternative solutions to AGP without compromising productivity and the animal. So in this study, a total of 241 day old male chicks were allocated to three treatments with eight replicate. Three mesh feeds were prepared for each treatment as following. The coin sorbing meal basal diet and the basal diet with the antibiotics and the basal diet with the proteates. At the end of this experiment, we tested the gross performance, the gut morphology, the digestive and the absorptive function of the gut, and the, also the meat quality of the broiler chicken. This study was uh, conducted to investigate the supplementation of proteins in perspective to be used as a tool in alternative strategies to antibiotics reduction. In the current study, despite a trend for a better FCR, with antibiotics, the ADG, uh, ADFI, and FCR of the broilers were not significantly affected by the antibiotics and the protease treatments compared to the control group. In regards to AGP, the girl's performance is usually considered to be a relatively insensitive parameter when evaluating the effectiveness of AGP in the lab scale facility because the experiments has been conducted in a controlled environments that were not commercially representative in terms of sanitary changes to elicit a significant performance response. Moreover, in regards to the proteins, the nutrient levels are all meeting the nutrient recommendation of curve broiler, which means the proteins was used in the nutritional wear balanced diets, therefore, gross performance improvements by the supplementation of antibiotics gross promoter or proteins were less likely to be observed in the current experimental stage uh, conditions. Uh, where broilers were raised under uh, optimal nutritional levels and feeding management conditions. The organs we checked in the trial included the heart, the brusa, the liver, and spleen. The in study, uh, we find that there is no significant difference in relative organ weight among the treatments, suggesting that the broilers were with uh, different treatments should similar developmental states. Uh, which is also in accordance with their uh, similar growth performance. The apparent um, alien digestibility of amino acid in broilers is shown in this table. Compared with the control group, the antibiotics and the proteins group 
should significantly increase digestibility of amino acid. Generally, the higher amino acid digestibility as observed with the antibiotics and the protease groups improves the ADG, ADFI, and the FCR of broilers. But these results have not been observed in the current study in comparison to the information provided by the recommendation of curb broilers. The present result of the uh, ADG were much higher while the ADFI and FCR were much lesser, which means the gross performance were approaching the limit of the curb broilers. Those results indicated that there was little room for the improvement in the gross performance of broiler chickens when approaching their uh, optimal genetic potential. And this could be why increased digestibility of amino acid of, uh, did not translate to the gross performance improvement. Um, as shown in this picture, the infed protease significantly increased the villus height in the jejunum, but not in the duodenum and the ileum. Additionally, by, um, by comparison to the control group, an increased duodenal and jejunal uh, villus height to crypt deeps ratio were detected in the broilers fed the protease. And no significant difference in the uh, crypt dips was observed among the treatment groups. Enhanced intestinal morphology can probably improve the uh, amino acid absorption capacity by uh, increasing the surface area for the absorption in the intestine. The relative, relative uh, gene expression of the nutrient transporters is shown in this picture. A significantly lesser level of C81 MIA abundance was found in the antibiotics group compared with the control group, while there was no significant difference between the control and the protease groups. Compared with the control group, the Protease group showed a significantly uh, lesser mRNA abundance of PEPT1, while the um, antibiotics group did not significantly differ from those of the control group. And the broiler feed protease had significantly decreased in the mRNA level of the PEPT1 when compared with the broilers in the control group. Compared with the protease group, the antibiotics group showed a significantly greater mRNA abundance of the B081 and the EAAC1. However, the mRNA abundance of SGLT1 and XCT1 was not different among the treatment groups. Until now, the mechanism for the regulation of gene expression of uh, amino acid transporter in chickens by the infeed antibiotics is not clear, and further research will be required to evaluate the underlying mechanism. Additionally, there was no significant difference in the expression of amino acid transporter between the control and the protease groups. This re result indicated that the increased amino acid utilization of dietary protease we discussed above was not achieved by the improving intestinal amino acid transporters capacity. We believe that the supplementation of antibiotics and the protease could affect the jejunal area functions of the broilers. Therefore, we measured the gene expression of the one, the CLDN1 and the CDH1 of the jejunum in the broilers. According to the current study, the relatively decreased mRNA abundance of the one and the CDH1 were founded in both the antibiotics and the protease groups. Those results were possible evidence for the reduction in the feed um, for recovering the, the gut barrier by the antibiotics or uh, protease effects. 
there were no significant uh, difference in the meat color and uh, meat pH value and the drop loss, cooking loss, shear force, and uh, MFI index among groups. But the antibiotics and the protease groups tended to have greater pH and the protease group tended to have a reduced drop loss. As shown in this table, no severe white scraping and woody breast were found in the treatment groups. And the incidence of um, white scraping and woody breast did not significantly differ among the treatment groups. In conclusion, the AGP and the protease both showed the positive impact on the um, digestibility and the health parameters without significant effects on gross performance or negatively consequences on the meat quality. And diarrhea uh, proteins can improve the intestinal morphology and the digestibility of the amino acid in the broiler chickens. In that respect, the infeed proteins used appears to be an interesting tool to consider in the AGP reduction strategies. And also the further studies are required to determine if the infeed proteins can contribute to the improvement of the intestinal health by changing the intestinal microbiota and other inflammatory parameters. Thank you so much for listening. Oh. Hi, Pong. Thanks for your presentation. I'm just going to pull up the Q&A yes, box here. It looks like there is one question. It says, which protease or proteases did you use? Okay. Uh, firstly, uh, I'm sorry for I um, forgot to um, put the acknowledgement in my slides. But yeah, the protease was kindly provided by a very famous uh, Canadian company in the J4, you know, and you can easily access this uh, products in the in the in the in the market, I think. And why we use the protease um, in the experiment is the protease has the ability to improve the uh, the digestive and the absorptive function of the gut in the chicken, and uh, which can allow the, the host to absorb the nutrients to a great extent. And the, the, um, I'm not fine to, it, it is provided by JFO, the company. Yeah. Thanks, Hung. I have another question for you. And I always, I work in extension, so I'm usually talking to producers and they're always like, show me the money. So have you done any calculations to determine what type of return on investment um, producers would get from using? Uh, excuse me. A product. Do the costs of adding the product to the feed um, pay for themselves? I could kiss you just uh, repeat the question because maybe you might not work. Oops. Oh, sorry. Um, well, you know what? Let's let's concentrate on on the Q and A in the box there. So it says, um, which health parameter indicated that adding proteases improved the health? So I think one of your conclusions was okay. that health was improved. So, yeah. Okay, I will answer. Um, because the protease can benefit the host by reducing the indigestible uh, nitrogen with uh, pathogenic bacteria and, and uh, yeah, if you uh, check, if you test the um, absorptive function and uh, the digestive function, you can uh, find that it can truly uh, improve the uh, parameters of the um, digestive or uh, absorbed function. For example, the uh, digestibility of the amino acid or the digestibility of the uh, crude protein. 
And uh, um, according to the previous study, the, the proteic supplementation can improve the, uh, the gut health of chickens by uh, modulating the immunity. And uh, in addition to the above uh, advantages, the proteic additives can also offer uh, opportunity to lower the amount of the protein and amino acid in the poultry diets to uh, account for its improvement in nitrogen utilization. So thus, it, it is um, worth investigating uh, whether the products can be used um, effective and uh, uh, environmental friendly uh, alternatives for the antibiotics growth promoter. <laughs>